I don't think the American people get enough credit, Mr. Secretary. You know, we spend about a trillion dollars a year, state and local social programs. In, uh, in our country, if you're hungry, we feed you. Uh, if you're homeless, we house you. If you're too poor to be sick, we pay for your doctor. But other countries just let you die. Right. Uh, but, but, but the problem is that so many of our programs to help people have become, have, have become parking lots when they're supposed to be bridges. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it seems to me that, that we've become a government that automatically sees folks as victims, um, which can breed dependency as opposed to potential workers. Right. And, and I would strongly, I thank you for, and I strongly encourage you to continue the effort. So if, if somebody needs a place to live, we ought to provide it. But if they're between the ages of 18 and 65, and they're not disabled, then um, we, ne we need to ask them to work 20 hours a week, or go back to school 20 hours a week, or do community service 20 hours a week. And I'm not talking about a mother with a sick baby in her arms. I'm not talking about asking grandpa to leave the nursing home. Um, and, and you've done a lot toward that. And, and I know um, a lot of people say, you know, it makes you cold and heartless. And they say that by implication about the American people. We're spending a trillion dollars. And, and uh, I don't know. I, I just, I, I try to be a good Methodist. I believe in free will. And I, I don't think these are, are people who need a hand up or, or want to stay there. Right. And you've worked at that, and I know it's, I know some people have bashed you, and I just wanted to thank you for it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, in the Sermon on the Mount, uh, Jesus said, you know, don't worry about it when people say all kind of horrible things about you. Mm -hmm. Just do the right thing. And, you know, that's what's driving us right now. I've been blessed with a tremendous team, just wonderful people. And uh, we're going to get people out of poverty. And it's going to change the paradigm in this country. I mean, I mean, to sum it up, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to take food stamps or affordable housing away from people in need. Sure. But I won't, do want fewer people to need food stamps and affordable housing. And I don't know a single person. Maybe there are some, but I don't know a single, and I know, I know, I know a, a number. I don't know a single person who is dependent on government who doesn't, who really wants to be. Right. And, and I'm not talking about just, okay, go get a job. There are programs that have been set up. Kentucky has a great, where we'll help you get a job. This economy, thanks to those tax cuts, is doing great. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm, yeah. I'm still doing it. Five minutes better than Senator. Bush. I'm gonna wrap it up. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Senator. And, and I just want to say that, you know, we, the government, maybe not the current government, but collectively, we're the ones who created the situation of dependency, and I think we have a responsibility to fix it. Thank you, sir. All right. With that, the uh, hearing will conclude. That concludes the questioning, and I want to once again thank you, Secretary Carson, for coming and uh, reporting to us and being here with us this morning. Thank you. For senators who wish to submit questions for the record, those questions are due next Thursday, March 29th. And, Mr. Secretary, I'd ask that you respond to any questions uh, as soon as you possibly can. Thank you. With that, this hearing is adjourned.